Hello, Virgo, getting ready to do your reading. All right, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's wrong, Bella? Okay, she's standing there. All right, Virgo, messages for Virgo. Justice, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, oh nice, Four of Coins, and the Four of Wands. Under the deck, you guys, is the King of Wands. Okay, I say that, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you guys, look at, you guys have something or someone, you may know who this is, coming in very quickly. Feels like they're trying to catch a plane or a train or something, like they're, like, you know, when they take the ticket. I think this is, I don't think, they, I don't know if they do this anymore because I have, don't take a train or, but almost like he's racing to get onto the uh, bus or boat or plane, like the plane ticket, they're going to take it because what do they want to do? They want to come see you. It's kind of what I'm getting. I'm not sure if it's this way or this way, but uh, that's, that's just what came to mind. What's on your mind is kind of a confusion. You don't know what's coming in. Uh, you don't have clarity about something. And in fact, it may even make you feel a little bit nervous or scared possibly with the four of coins. This may happen in the month of April. You do have two fours here possibly. So that's not too far away, but we'll see. It looks like you have stability coming in with this person, with this offer, with this big cup. I get like also very like emotional for fulfillment. What is the justice card? Three of swords, high priestess. Yeah, you're moving forward into happiness. Okay, under the deck is death. So some of you have really gone through a difficult situation, but because you did that and you obviously you have a broken heart or had, you have manifested something much better than Nine of Cups or will be. Now it might be with somebody you know. This could be somebody who could be a Scorpio or some other sign, but someone you do already know coming back in. I feel like there's a like a, this. I feel like a hug. I feel like there's like a lot of love from this person. They really make you feel warm and special. And if you're feeling you know left out in the cold or sad, I feel like this is the energy that's kind of going to. It's kind of be wrapped around you like it feels warm like a big hug what is the seven of cups for virgo what is the seven of cups ten of wands three of coins two of wands and king of swords okay three of wands judge let me see what's coming seven of coins okay this might be confusion about who you're dealing with now i noticed under the deck there's also a king of cups which is very to me opposite energy of the king of swords there could be somebody that you are dealing with that is just it's just very difficult possibly maybe you're Wanting it to work out with this person. It seems like a very heavy relationship. I feel like you're putting too much effort with the Three of Coins. Normally, I don't feel that way. I feel like you're doing all the work. Normally, I feel like this, this is working together. I don't because there's Ten of Wands and I feel like there's just one person there on the card. So you may be confused <clears throat> excuse me, about a relationship or someone you're dealing with. Like How do they really feel about you? It doesn't look like they're doing much. I feel like they're watching you work, actually. This is Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Seven of Cups again, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Coins. Now, all right, <clears throat> this could also be somebody else. So now the Seven of Cups came out over here. This actually could be somebody watching you. I picked up this person, is not helping you. They're not with you, they're watching you. But I don't think that's somebody you're already with. I think this is somebody new. Because I have the Seven of Cups over here again, and now it's clarifying to me the Ace of Cups is the Seven of Cups. So they're probably watching Page of Swords, but they're holding back. Another four. This may not come until April, just an FYI. It doesn't have to be. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it might be the first week of April. So this person, I do get there's somebody who is thinking about you, maybe watching you, wanting to come see you come forward. I think the King of Cups under the deck represents that they have love for you or emotions or they're starting to feel that way about you. What is the Four of Coins? What is the Four of Coins? What is the Four of Coins? Page of Cups, Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person is really reserved right now and I feel like it's... Um... Okay, I'm going to be honest with what I'm getting. I feel like they see you're, you're sad. I feel like I feel like they see that you maybe your work a lot or you're weighed down. I feel like this person is kind of afraid to approach you and not in fear, but like should I, should I not? Are they open to this? Because nobody wants to be re rejected, but I feel it's more like they feel your energy of maybe being maybe sad or overworked or overwhelmed. And it's almost like, well, if I hit them or talk to them at the wrong time, um, you know, they might reject me or, you know, they're waiting for timing is what I'm getting. It's timing. They want to come in. They want to talk. They want to come up to you. But, okay, what fell out? 
Okay, death. Okay, some of you are mourning a death. Some of you are going through a very heavy process of letting a situation go. Uh, you guys could be also, you know, doing some inner work, some letting go of like abandonment issues or anything along, along that line, not just a relationship, but I think they see that you're still not quite ready. I'm going to put that back in because that did fall out. Okay, so we have the four of wands though, because I feel like this relationship could work into a very stable commitment. What is the four of wands? Hierophant, Knight of Wands, Temperance, Three of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Okay, first off, some of you may have been dealing with players with this energy in the cold shoulder there, okay? Uh, this is kind of like getting back at Five of Swords in a sense to me when I see it with like this. For the relationships you put up with where the people or the person was not putting you as a priority. They were giving you a cold shoulder. They were a player. This is justice. This is what you're getting for whoever treated you this way. Now, again, this might be a fire sign. They could be younger. Um, they could, again, just be waiting. Maybe they're Sagittarius. Could be Taurus here. But again, I feel like they're going to, and I know it sounds weird, like strike at the right time. They know when the right time is. They know when to approach you. They're just waiting. In fact, I kind of feel like the Knight of Wands, they could kind of be like pacing. I, feel, I see them kind of like walking back and forth, like looking at you. Like, like you know how the Knight of Wands doesn't sit still? I always say he doesn't sit still. They don't sit still. But when, if you catch their eye, if you happen to work with this person, like they act like they're not looking at you, it's also kind of getting. They are gonna strike when it's the right time and they will know. But in another sense, I do get that this is justice for who you've been putting up with in your dating life. Okay. What is the King of Wands energy? King of Wands? What is the King of Wands energy? deck is the moon might be a Pisces okay I'm also getting something else off this person to help kind of clarify okay justice is under here moon they might be a Pisces yeah maybe a cancer you've left something very toxic it was difficult and now you might be in a place of kind of confusion is also when I'm getting kind of like what's going on I don't I can, but I feel like some of you can't see clearly you don't know where you're going you don't know what you're doing um, this person might come in as maybe like a king of wands, knight of wands, a little on the flashy side, maybe trying to impress you a little bit. Maybe, you know, they think you're, you know, very attractive, so they're coming with their best foot forward. You might be a little bit possibly put off by them because that's also, I think, what this is saying. I kind of feel like this is them here, not your past. And now I'm kind of getting it. I, they may be a fire sign, but who knows signs? I mean, if you meet the person, how are you going to know? I feel like they may come across maybe cocky, maybe like five of wands. Like you're not really sure about this person. You're like, no, nah, this looks like a player. This looks like somebody I don't want to deal with again. I get they're not. I get they are the king of cups. Remember the king of cups is under the deck when the king of swords came out. And this person is trying to figure you out also. That might be the seven of cups. Trying to figure out what makes you tick. What do you like? Who do you like? Um, how can they impress you? So they may come across a bit abrupt or like six six of wands ten of coins a lot of money they got ego this and that i get that they're more of a king of cups underneath it all so again maybe you've seen them already maybe you have given them the cold shoulder maybe you do know who this is maybe you're like no nah, i don't want to give them my time time and attention but i'm getting you're misreading them but at the same time, like right now, they're reading you. They're watching you. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to see again, what, when is the right time to approach you? Are you ready? Are you open to them? Because again, they don't want to be rejected. So I get this, honestly, this feeling from this card. Like, how do I explain it? Like somebody's walking. I see them walking back and forth in my mind. Like they cross the street. They go back and forth. They're going to park them. They're going back and forth. And they're, um, you may see them, but you may not notice them. But they are, again... Um, it's almost like a video game is what I'm seeing. Like they're waiting for the right time. And again, they may be flashy on the surface, but I get that's not who they are underneath. What is the Five of Swords? What is the Five of Swords? So that's why you have the Two of Coins. Yeah, because see, they find you very attractive. They find you, you know, very good looking and 
they would love to be with you, love to have you on their arm, want to make a good impression. Uh, again, maybe you find this a little off-putting initially, but I feel like, no, this is somebody who could be a life partner because when you have justice, I do feel like the universe is bringing you in the right person to just be there for you. But I can see this is why also you have this energy here. Like you're not really sure if to take their, their offer. Let me see what the romance cards are saying for this reading. What are they saying for this reading? Love yourself first. Okay, so your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that is the Queen of Wands. So that is what they're seeing about you. And they like that about you. You take care of you. Uh, you are not worried about everyone else. You're not insecure. You're positive. You know, you're strong. What else? You have a positive energy is probably what I should have said. New love, yeah. Um, could be a past life soulmate relationship. But yeah, you have new love coming in. So it's going to show up. I think it's already around you, you guys, from the cards, if I can tell. They're just waiting for that perfect timing. They have their eye on you, definitely. Be a little more open, maybe. Smile more. Maybe the four coins might be you. You seem a little closed off. So again, but um, that's all I'm picking up. I'm going to leave it here. Have a really good week, you guys. Remember, the number four is important. So it could be like four days, four weeks, or maybe in April that this is going to show up for a lot of you. Okay, that's, yeah, that's all. I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys.